Hey there, just a quick bit of my latest solar water heater. Let's give it a try. 140, 145. 140, like that, 140, 135. Quick talk through, water comes in the bottom, goes along, slowly fills each one of the 10 tubes till it gets to the top. Water recombines as hot water, goes down the drain pipe and out. Again, it's half inch CPVC. You got the 18T connectors, 19 one inch connectors in between them, four elbows, a couple of scrap for the inlet and the outlet, and the garden hose connector. Working great. Check it out. Staying completely dry. No leaks at all. at the back. All right, so the four corners, and then I did two, 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 and two. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tack in the glass support. That's a three-eighth inch wooden square dowel. Better open up before I get started. Get ventilation in here. All right, here's a quick test. Totally leak free, water's coming out, and same with up here. Working great. All right, this next part is optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this one and a half by one and a half steel drip edge roof flashing, and I'm gonna drop roughly a two foot length under each pipe. This way, obviously, the metal gets hot, it's going to get hotter than the wood, and it focuses the heat right around each pipe for maximum water heating. So I'm going to use the liquid nails. We'll just put a bead or two in there. Center it and drop it on. And just go across.
All right, here's the basic support structure. These will hold the weight, the two L brackets, and the 3 8 inch wood dowel pieces are just going to hold it up a little bit off the back. Okay, and then to secure it snugly, I'm going to take some plain, uncoated, thin wire, put it through here and around here. Working great. Get some good temps already. And here from 120 to it topped out at 160 a little while ago. 155, 160. That's pretty good. It's January. About 120. Yeah, it feels pretty warm. Uh, 125, 130. Not bad. Right now I just have the glass lay in there, but the last thing I'll do is seal that up. That's about it. Temps from 110 to 160. Probably average in the 130 to 140 range, but it's January, so not bad.